Yeah, Shannon, Mike, that's right. They don't even believe she was the target, but she did end up being hit by these shots and fatally wounded. In this criminal complaint, it's all detailed. We picked this up here tonight at the arraignment court by the jail, and that's where police hope to have this suspect very soon. She was a daughter, she was a sister, and she had a ton of friends, and her family's really devastated over what happened to her about the whole situation. Harold Stightly remembering his longtime friend tonight, Samantha Clavora, just 23 years old, shot to death in McKeesport last night. Police say they know the man who killed Clavora and shot an unidentified man she was with. There's a warrant now for 25-year-old Daniel Bizell Jr. According to the criminal complaint, Bizell showed up targeting the man with Clavora, shot at him as he ran away, and then fired at Clavora. Investigators found 13 spent 9mm cartridge casings and noticed 10 individual strike marks on the concrete steps. Clavora was pronounced dead at the hospital after she sustained six gunshot wounds to the lower body, three of which traveled into the torso, causing her death. The man she was with survived and told police he knew the shooter, immediately identifying him as Boog Bray. He told police the shooter claimed it was revenge for the killing of a man named Diaz Petty. Boog was in fact Daniel Bazell as it turned out. Police pieced it together after showing the injured man a lineup. Harold, meanwhile, admits Clavora did run with the wrong crowd, but says she was just starting to straighten out. Because she was a good person and I hope the people would People would not see this interview and everything realize she was she was more than just a nobody. She was a person. She had a lot of friends and family, and she didn't deserve what happened to her whatsoever down there. So, 25-year-old uh, Daniel Bazell Jr. now charged with criminal homicide, illegally possessing the weapon that was used in that case, and a host of other charges. Now a wanted man on all of those charges that I listed. Reporting live tonight from the Allegheny County Jail, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.